Hey, Chris! Roger, what's going on? You know what? I got big plans this weekend. What are your plans? My plan is to go do some drinking and gambling. Oh my gosh, can you roughhouse? A little bit. A little bit of roughhouse. Then Not you much need to so. go to the Red Dragon Inn. Oh, where's that at? So you go to slugfestgames.com slash ETG and you can get your directions there. And they just came out with a new expansion, RDI 6. Villains. I saw that. Amazing. You know what else you can find at slugfestgames.com slash ETG? Report. <laughs> Fishing for terrorists. And High Noon Saloon. Guys, they also have plenty of swag there. Oh my gosh. Shirts. So much. So much swag. Shirts, flasks, um, all of it. All of it. So go to slugfestgames.com slash ETG for more information. Whether you're a guy in a cape or a Sneaky. Join Chris and Roger as they <laughs> guys. What's going on? Roger's broken right now. <laughs> Cody and Terrence are still bringing the heat with us. <laughs> you fucked what up that commercial <laughs> so bad. The commercial is fine. <laughs> Do we need to go back and re-record it? No. Everything is there. Everything is there. I almost said go to reddragonin.com slash ETG. Piece it together. No, everybody knows. They know where to go. Go to slugfestgames.com slash ETG for more information. <laughs> it was we like okay, so we're we're almost professionals, but that's the first time we've talked over each other during an ad. And it was just bad. We can go back. No, we're not going back. I don't go back. That's not how I live my life. I don't look back. I look forward, Chris. <laughs> but we are going to look back this episode. We we got our movie experts here. Oh, we're we gonna, sure do. Well, well, I mean, well, thank well, you. yeah, that's where you guys you guys are oh, elevated yeah, to yes. movie Ooh, experts. Right. Okay. You guys are expert movie reviewers. You're so, officially professionals because we're bringing you here for your opinions. <laughs> awesome. And one day, you know, we'll, we'll slide you a dollar bill so you can claim you got paid for it. Yeah. Ooh, works yeah. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. we'll, maybe we'll just pay for them to go to a couple of movies. Hey, whatever. I like that idea. I even absolutely. All of a sudden, we're paying for date night. It's not a date if we don't <laughs> hold hands. I mean, it didn't mean for us. No, I know, for them. Are you guys going to hold hands? I'm sure we might. Yeah, we might. A date night. Who knows? <laughs> on the company dime, I'm down with that. Y- maybe. You know no, what? Yeah. We'll pay for you guys going on a date. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's like love connection. <laughs> No, you just have to tell us time. afterwards how the date went. Right. You know, that's really yeah. where, where. Did you get laid? That's the most important part. <laughs> First question. Did he put out? <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. So, so summer's wrapped up. We got like five more days left of this of this god awful season. Oh. And so we're hitting fall. What do you guys What do you guys think of Hollywood's big summer blockbusters this year? It was better than last summer. I'll tell you that. Okay. Um, we saw we didn't see a lot of movies this summer, but we really enjoyed uh, Spider Man. I thought we that was really like Spider Man. We surprised kind of yes, we did. Saw it that on a really web. surprised me. Um, I didn't see Spider Man. Are you not interested? It in really shocked me because I had like zero to five percent interest. I, I've gotten to the <laughs> point. I, it's just me getting old that going to the movie theater. It has to be something extremely special to drag me to the movie theater. I hate people so yeah. much. Mm-hmm. And now that movie theater is going more towards, oh, we're now dining and here's all the noise that you can make. It's okay to leave yourself on. It just, yeah. it's got to be something magical to what make me go to What pisses me off about movie theaters now is having to select your seats. Fuck you. You go in, you try to find a seat. That's how the movie theater works. It's not, hey, I'm going to reserve seats one through seven on row A. Fuck you. That's obscene. <laughs> I can't I don't do need that. You, I don't need your heated bullshit seats, and I don't need a recliner. I'll take those old shitty movie chairs that I'm used to. Here's why I can't do that, though. Because like I'm the guy that when I go to the movie theater, I like to get there, oh, a half an hour before the previews start. Right. First one in the theater. I sit in the middle. I'm like, eh, eh. It takes me four or five sit-downs to find my seat. Yeah. And fuck you off. You don't like it. I don't care. But I have my seat. And then that motherfucker comes in and sits right next to you when the whole damn theater is yep. empty. Yeah, yeah, and he's got his popcorn. Yeah, and his Slurpees. Oh, I know. Yeah. Oh, oh, we're on the same page. Yes. Oh, I'm not, yeah. I'm not yeah. a popcorn eater. No, the the people that get the big fucking soda and you're like, there's no way they're finishing in that before the movie they starts. They finish it before the previews oh, yeah. even in. No, they don't. And then, and, then, and then they're halfway through the movie trying to script that. La- you get <laughs> shaking the eyes. Get the fuck out. That's why you get an icy monster. I hate. I, this this is why I don't go to the theaters, 
But yeah, I, I, I kind of want, I want to see Spider Man, and it's coming out soon, very soon, yeah. Yeah. like in the next two weeks. But Spider Man actually just hit the eight hundred million mark. Wow! For a box office in the Chinese box office alone, it made seventy million dollars. That's Ooh, awesome! Wow. Yeah, insane. Spider Man was good. Though. It was a good it flick. Was really it was really good. I was like, I was really surprised. I... Michael Keaton was a beast. Going Dude. into it, I was like, Are we really redoing Spider Man fucking again? Yes. And it's going to no. be terrible, but it shocked the shit the out of me, and it was, was really fantastic. good. It, it was everybody. not the same. Aunt May is fucking hot. She's so Marissa hot. Tomei has not aged. She could get it. She All looks four inches. amazing, and she will continue to look amazing yeah, forever. She's, she's like, you know, the reverse. She's like the woman Sammy J. And we got a yeah. real kid playing yeah. Peter Parker now as a teenager. Yeah. So it's like you got a teenager playing a teenager. This makes sense. You don't have a twenty-seven year old playing a uh, sixteen year old. I liked yeah. I liked Toby McGuire's Toby Spider-Man. McGuire was okay as far as So you, your but preference, Toby or was it Tom Andrew? Holland? Andrew, Andrew. Uh, uh, Garfield. Oh. Andrew Garfield was a better Spider Man in the, the suit. Out. In the suit. Shut up. In the suit. Way too cool to be Peter Parker. Ah. Uh, he was Ultimate gotcha. Spider Man. Way too cool to be Peter Parker. No, he was Ultimate Spider Man. That's what he was. No, he was the Amazing Spider-Man. The title even said. No, he but his character was the Ultimate Spider-Man because that's how the kid was an Ultimate Spider-Man. I'll out nerd you in Spider-Man. Let's do it. <laughs> you can fucking say whatever you want, but the fact of the matter is, the kid in Ultimate Spider-Man still wasn't as cool as Andrew Garfield. He was pretty cool though. Not as cool as Andrew Garfield. Ever. <laughs> you don't. I should be Spider-Man. You could be Spider-Man. <laughs> Miles Morales, right here. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, was he in? Like, I didn't see the movie. Was was Miles Morales in Homecoming? No, uh, Do- uh, Donnie Glover plays his uncle in it. And he makes a cameo. Okay. Um, so they, they basically opened it up to, hey, when Tom Holland's done, you're going to get Miles. Is kind of what I gathered. Um, How's that going to fit in the... So who owns the right to Miles Morales, though? Is it Sony or the, is it Marvel? That I don't know. I, uh, I would assume that it's Sony because it's the Spider-Man character. But I don't know. Miles Morales came out after the Spider-Man deal was signed with Sony. It doesn't matter. Okay. Um when you're when you're talking movie rights, I think it's hey, Spider Man is ours. Since Miles Morales is branded as Spider Man, I think that's their baby. Now I know that you, last time we were here, we were talking about Dark Tower, and you were really. Ex- I think uh, I was really was pretty excited. I, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, very so excited. I, to I would. See I was surprised. Did you go to see that? I did not theater? go see it. Okay. Um, the reviews I've I've heard. Were, have all been very bad. That's yeah. why we didn't... Here's see, a, I, I do listen to a lot of reviews, and it, it can affect, like, if I see a movie. Going that into was, it, yeah. That was one of them where I was like, fuck, this movie sounded... It looked really good, and and now I'm just like, not interested. Yeah, what I'm hearing now... Like 4% on yeah. Rotten Tomatoes. But here, like, no. So here's the thing. If you go to a movie like that expecting it to be shit, you were always so pleasantly surprised. True. It, That's true. Here's here's true. what I've heard. One uh, like the reason this movie failed, a lot of studio interference. The studio got involved. Two, they they instead of it, it it's not meant to be an adaptation of the Dark Tower books. It's meant to be a sequel. That's why Stephen King signed off on it. Mm-hmm. But they ended up going with the same tropes that Hollywood blockbusters have gone to, which is giant beam destroying the sky, mm-hmm. which isn't the gunslinger. <laughs> That's not what we got. That's not the Dark Tower. So, I don't know. Hopefully, they can fucking fix it. We They're still planning on doing a TV show and some sequels. Let's hope. But I uh, I was disappointed with just the reviews. Yeah. That, that That's an evil being. Ooh, she is a doll. So, <laughs> what, so you went and saw Spider-Man. What movie uh, over the summer surprised you? I know you didn't see a lot, but just being, being like that movie you didn't expect to be good. Spider-Man. <laughs> Honestly, it was Spider-Man. It really was Spider-Man. It was, it they didn't really... expect it to be good. We really did not. Well, can you, um, after Amazing Spider-Man, can you blame him for feeling that way? <laughs> it's true. We really didn't. Um, well, yeah, it was fantastic. Was... Totally surprised. We had passes to see another movie, and that got sold out. And what then... movie was that? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> this is like not a like a geeky movie, but Girls Trip. Oh, really? Oh, so so Queen I, I'm Latifah. Yeah, the, the... Okay, I know what you're talking about. So, we... Uh, we're like the like AMC Stubbs members or whatever, yeah. so every now and then they'll give you free passes. So they said, hey, you and three other guests can see this movie before it comes out. So we're like, okay, why the fuck not? Free. So we go, we show up 45 minutes early, and they say, sorry, we don't have any more space. So they gave us passes for two weeks later. 
So we were like, well, we're here. We might as well see something. And the next movie that was starting was Spider-Man. So we said, okay, we'll see Spider-Man. So the other totally couple surprised. we were nice. with said, let's see Spider-Man. And we ended up seeing Spider-Man. And, and everybody loved it. We all loved it. This is a good it flick. So Captain shocking. America's hysterical in it. It was so <laughs> shocking. <laughs> that was... His little informational videos that he's doing. Yeah. Yes. Oh, my God. And I really liked that this, like, it just was mainly the focal point on Spider-Man. Like, when I thought, when I was talking about um, Captain America Civil War, there was so much <laughs> Iron Man that it didn't feel like a Captain America well, movie. It, it wasn't. It was all. Avengers 2.5. Right. Like so that, it was just, yeah. I don't know, I didn't really enjoy that that much, but... I didn't enjoy it because they pussed it out and should have killed Rhodes. Should have killed Rhodes. Should have killed Rhodes. Should have had a real villain. That bullshit didn't even that need they a did. Villain. That, uh, no, it didn't. But that bullshit that they did, I turned you against it, Chata. I was like, <laughs> fuck off. That movie didn't need a villain, but Rhodes should have died. <laughs> no, he should have. That would have been That's awesome. That's my thing. Rhodes should have died in that movie. Don't worry, he's fine. He can walk again. Yeah, and he's going to die in Infinity War. Good. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so that's what we have going on. We're okay with killing characters. Yeah, we just want them to die. Right. Like, like, there's no consequences in these movies. Yeah. Everyone is okay at the end. Like, emotionally, they might be a little damaged, but but, but Quicksilver is the only death we've had. You know and why? We... Joss Whedon. You're welcome. Yeah, what? <laughs> Joss Whedon, he was like, I'm killing Quicksilver, he's staying dead. He said the same thing with Coulson in the first Avengers, and they brought Coulson back in... Uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., yes. but Joss Whedon said, as far as I'm concerned, he's fucking dead. That's why you don't see him anymore in the cinematic universe. You only see him in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Joss Whedon's apparently a piece of shit. Oh, he's a womanizer, so what? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. No, hold on! Fuck it! We, you know, we haven't gone down that road because it's kind of new, especially for nerds who love Joss Whedon and, and epitomize him of being the, the outspoken Hollywood man for women. Cheats on his wife. Cheats all the on time. his wife all the time. Maybe they're in an open relationship. No, it wouldn't be cheating if you're in an open relationship. Correct. It would be called True. relationship. Right. True. <laughs> yeah, he uh, he definitely cheated on his wife what? like a motherfucker, what? and she called him out. Yeah, she did. You she guys put not him on blast. This? No. Yeah. So him and his wife are getting divorced, and this like she just she ripped him up beside one down the other, saying he's a womanizer, he's sexist, he's 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 not who he claims to be. It was very Tom Cruise, Nicole Kidman divorce like. Uh, that that was mm. pretty ugly. And that very that upsets me because it's Joss Whedon. You know what's funny is you bring up Tom Cruise and it, so Jamie Foxx and uh, Katie Holmes are Katie Holmes officially <laughs> announced that they're a couple. That is so weird. I'm not. They've been a couple for two years. That's so <laughs> weird. I'm not to me, into though. the whole celebrity dating thing, but what the fuck. That just took me by surprise. That's I mean, so like odd. it's been two years, motherfucker. I know, but like it's I don't I. It's just an odd combo. It's just like an odd combo. Tom Cruise is pissed about it because he's like, I consider Jamie Foxx a close friend. I'm like, you're a weirdo, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you're fucking I don't nuts. know if anybody considers you a close no. friend. So like, if he starts banging your wife after you guys get a divorce and she says you're a crazo, that's yeah, on you. True. I mean, yeah, yeah, true, true. I he mean, is, should I be running to Jamie Foxx too if I had to be too? <laughs> Chained up in Tom Cruise's basement for 10 years. (laughs) I don't know if she was chained up, but there was definitely ropes involved. Mm. Dead alien babies. Dead alien babies. (laughs) Get that bitch locked up in a closet. I remember remember him jumping on the couch. Like like, on on Oprah. Oprah. Oh, look at Katie Holmes! (laughs) Yeah. That was was the fakest thing ever. It was so fake. It was fake. And she was playing along with it. She was acting all excited, too. I'm like, bitch, you are not excited. (laughs) Everybody in this room is terrified. Tom Cruise was like, you cannot be in Batman any longer. (laughs) Why wasn't Tom? Do you think Tom Cruise could have played Batman? No. No, 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 he would have been like three feet tall. No. Michael Keaton played Batman. And Michael Keaton short. Michael Keaton well, he's amazing as Batman. But Tom Cruise... The the difference between Michael Keaton and Tom Cruise is Michael Keaton could probably whoop Tom Cruise's ass. Oh, yeah. There's no doubt about that. So, I believe that, Batman. Did you guys see The Founder? No. Watch The Founder. It's on Netflix. Okay. It's on Netflix. Netflix? Okay. Michael Keaton, McDonald, damn good movie. I'm all about... Oh, okay, okay, I know what you're talking about. Damn good okay. movie. 
I remember seeing a trailer for that. Yeah, yeah. like Michael Keaton. That looks good. He, he's got a new movie coming out too, American Assassin. He yeah. is like all over the place and now. He is. Ever since um, Birdman, Birdman, yeah. which was fantastic. I loved that movie. He's having his like second wind right now. Yeah. You know, which is you know I think uh, it's good because it's not a second wind like it's Michael Keaton doing Michael Keaton stuff. It's Michael Keaton getting roles. Yeah. Good roles. Good roles. Good roles. It's not Mr. Mom or Multiplicity, which. Have you got Multiplicity I mean, was so I'm good. I'm down for that. I love yeah. that movie. Yeah. I kind of want to see a sequel now. <laughs> Do you? Yeah, Multiplicity was good. That I don't know what, what that what what uh, Andy McDowell. I don't know yeah. what she's been doing lately. I don't either. Like Neutrogena commercials or something. Andy McDowell is doing <laughs> yeah. nothing. Yeah, so she's got time. She's got time. She can do it. <laughs> she she can go be a multiplicity too. <laughs> she could. I'll call her. What was she in <laughs> recently that we saw? Andy McDowell was in something. I can't remember. And I was like, is that Andy McDowell? What the fuck has she been up to? I don't know. That. Nothing. Nothing. It'd be kind of great if she played like a badass. Like maybe Andy McDowell in a like, Tarantino movie or something. A villain of some kind. Mm. She needs to play like a murderer or like something serious. Speaking of Tarantino. <laughs> instead, of this, the, instead of all of this bullshit, yippee mom crap. <laughs> You're not a soccer mom. She needs You're to a bad play bitch. something really serious and that should be like the tagline. Make her come You're back. Not a soccer mom. She oh my god. Like, she can what be if, like an alternate what if kill they, bill. What if they put her in a movie as a soccer mom who's a serial killer? That would be fucking um, amazing. Okay, so she I would watch out. Yeah, so she's this running is, around killing uh, this is the third movie we've come yeah, up with in is. three weeks. She's running around killing You're teen welcome, dads Hollywood. because they cheat on their wives. Fuck yes. You or in? this could Come be in. a series. This could be an HBO series. That well. could be a fucking Netflix series. Hey, Netflix, Netflix. call us. Netflix. You're welcome. Yeah, mm-hmm. we got you covered. And it has to be Andy McDowell. <laughs> it has to be Andy McDowell. I like, it that's can't happening. be anyone else. If uh, it, you don't sign I don't her, we're not in. I don't, I don't know. know. That request has been made. <laughs> Andy McDowell, Nicole Kidman. <laughs> oh, my God, Nicole Kidman. Either I one. I, yeah. I Charlize say, Theron. Yeah, she's too high profile. We're looking for someone that's kind of slipping we away need a little bit. Somebody like Annie McDowell. Nicole Kidman's or... been doing some series here and there. Yeah, so, so she's, she's 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 down. She's yeah. she's she's knocked down a peg or two. She's yeah. so tall. She, yeah, she, she could still get it. Oh no, absolutely. I actually for a long time I was convinced that I was going to marry her. You you could still do this. We just have to get her in our movie now. Yeah. And and you know things happen. Nicole. Nicole. <laughs> if you really want this part. <laughs> You know me. I mean, you used to like the long hair. You're gonna have to sleep with this hippie. <laughs> oh, oh fuck. So, I forgot. What I was, oh, so speaking of Quentin Tarantino movies, mm. it, it it is confirmed now. He has come out and said recently in the past two months that all of his movies, which we knew, were tied together. With, and here's how: movies including *Dust Till Dawn* and *Kill Bill*. Those are those are movies within a movie. So those are the movies his characters in the Quentin universe would go see. Oh, that is such oh, a cop out. Okay. Fuck him. <laughs> Fuck him. That's bullshit. These are movies that my really characters. Feel like tying in. Yep. That's a cop out right yeah. there. He said his exact quote was when the characters from Reservoir Dogs have a day off of crime, they'd go see Kill Bill. No, they wouldn't. Tell them to no, shut no, the fuck no, up. No, Quentin. No. Mr. No. Tarantino, shut the fuck up. That is a cop out. Now, I'm just telling you what he said. Yeah, well, that's bullshit. That's I'm what that is. I'm on board with that. I, I am on board right. with Andy McDowell. Andy McDowell. <laughs> All right. But. So real quickly, real quickly before we wrap this up. All right. So we, we posted this question two or three weeks ago. Who would, we're, we're relaunching the X-Men movie franchise. All right. We're relaunching it. Oh, yeah. Chris and I, ETG presents X-Men. That, that's what's <laughs> happening. What what team of X-Men do you want? Like, like, like who do you, in your mind, if you want to go see an X-Men movie, who are the X-Men you want to see on screen? And it can be X Men already done. Doesn't have to be new. Hmm. You remember the the X Men cartoon from the early nineties? This is what started this conversation. Yeah, because I started I, rewatching. I would I would be good with that. So just that team? No, you could add a couple other people in that. So we got Wolverine, Gambit, Storm, Jubilee, Jean Grey, Cyclops, Cyclops Nightcrawler, Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler. No, he wasn't. He wasn't in there. Not not the main team. He was not on the main team. He wasn't he was, on the main he, team. He was in the show. He was, he was in the show. show. Beast. Beast, Beast was, was there. Mainstay, yeah. Professor X. Was... Professor X. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would so, be good with that. Two, um, yeah. Forge showed up a lot. Forge. Forge Morph. Morph. Forge and Cable showed up a lot. Uh, Bishop. Yeah, Bishop. Bishop, Bishop would be badass. To Terrence, do you want to be movie. Bishop in our movie? Shit, yeah. We're gonna right. get you ripped, bro. We're gonna get you ripped. <laughs> I need to. We'll get you yoked. It'll be all right. <laughs> you have to grow your hair out. 
That's going to be tough. We can get wigs. <laughs> we can get wigs. It's okay. okay. We got wigs. I know a guy. <laughs> Joe Moore, um, we're going to need some wigs. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I mean, that would be really cool. Or, um, oh, man. Now, here we go. Name one character that hasn't been in the movie that you'd like to see in a movie. I'll see. That's more of a question for you. I would have to say... They need to do something with like Mojo World or the oh. Shot or the Brood or wow. so so you want to help write this movie? Sure. Let's see, we're in. <laughs> we're in. We're in. Um, with Andy McDowell. With Andy McDowell. <laughs> I'll or, tell you what, they uh, could they could even give us a fucking twelve million dollar budget, and I'll bet you I turn out a better X Men movie. Twelve than they million. Ever you give me ten million, we can shoot out a better X Men movie than the crap they've been putting out. Yeah. Hell, give it five as long as you don't expect good special effects. We'll make an all character drama. Oh, dude, we could do a good one with character drama. Yeah, they need to do. More. But the Sentinel that we talked about, the Sentinel has to show up. Like yeah. maybe, maybe now just at the end because we don't. We only have five million dollars. What if we did it at the beginning and then we just did some explosions and stuff, Michael Bay, <laughs> <laughs> to simulate the Sentinels being destroyed? Okay, we could do like a very, very uh... master mold. Ooh, master yeah. mold was like the the main Sentinel, the. Okay. the... The Master Sentinel. Here's what I just like. Cody not only educated our audience, but he turned straight to Terrence and went, Here's <laughs> the I knew he didn't know. Like, I, I knew, knew he didn't know about, who so it let was. Let me just tell you. It's like, you just sit here and listen, babe. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that's okay. No, I'm not with you for your knowledge, Jack, so much because you're just so dreamy. <laughs> it, it's true. It's true. <laughs> so, uh, guys, we didn't tell you this yet <laughs> because we skipped this part of the show. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you guys to go to the High Noon Saloon. If you came looking for a fight, you came to the right place. This is a gun slinging, beer drinking extravaganza. Roger, where do you go to get High Noon Saloon? You mosey on over to slugfestgames.com slash ETG. That's right, guys. So slugfestgames.com slash ETG for more information on that. And then... Hold on. Chris. Yeah. Hey, I'm looking for issue 119 of X-Men. Where do I go? You go to cloud9comicsandmore.com, of course. What else have they got there? Let me educate you. Anything pop culture related, if you're looking for something fun, movie related, movie posters, anything. If you want a Buddy Christ plush doll, they've got them. If you want CGC graded comics, they've got them. If you want loose issues or trades or anything like that, they've got them. Hey guys, why don't you reach out to Paul if you're looking to sell a collection? 314-691-2864. He is always buying and never disappointing. That's the slogan. That is the slogan. So guys, cloud9comicsandmore.com for more information. One more thing, guys. While you're out there going to slugfestgames.etg, cloud9comicsandmore.com, go to e entertainthegeeky.com. There you will find all of our socials. Like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what team you want to see in our X-Men movie. Guys. Do you have any parting words of advice? Stay. Stay geeky. These guys are awesome. <laughs> that was a good one.